Hello, I'm Nick Maybury. That's Burry with an extra R. Uh, today we're doing a tutorial on Grab Viewport or Play Blasting in 3DS Max. Uh, what a Play Blast is or what Grab Viewport is, it literally grabs whatever is playing in your viewport. So if I scrub through my timeline, my Grab Viewport is going to be exactly what plays when I scrub through it. Uh, the reason you do this is that if you have to show an animation to a client or a supervisor, you want to give them something that you can create quickly instead of spending precious time and money rendering it. As well, it's helpful for yourself. Like You want to see how your characters move, how your animation's going. So without further ado, I'm going to hit Alt-W to bring that up. Go into Tools, down here to Preview, Grab Viewport, Create Preview Animation. I have active time segment selected, meaning that it's going to grab the frames of my entire timeline. So from 0 to 407, which is my last frame. For frame rate, every nth frame refers to... So every one frame, it's going to take a picture and put it in my grab viewport video. If I had this set to 2, it would take every second frame and put it in the video. Likewise, if I had 5, it would take every fifth frame. But because I want this a smooth video, I'm going to set it to 1. I want my play black, uh, sorry, playback frames per second to be 24. And for this, I'm going to leave the image size to 50% of what it actually is. I had it to 100 earlier, but I was getting errors with it. So uh, if you want to overlay the frame numbers, you can do that, or the save frames. You can do that there. Visual style rendering level, I think this is pretty cool. So I'm going to leave mine at realistic, but if you just want to show what it looks like in shaded or hidden line mode, something like that, that'd be cool. I'm going to leave mine as realistic. Uh, I want textures on, highlights, background. And for the output, finally, I selected an ABI, just so it'll go neatly into a video file. I'm going to click that button to show the compressor, and I am going to use this H.264 compressor which will give you a very nice looking video file, but tiny file size, which is great for sending to people and also storing. So hit OK on that. I do want to render from camera one and create. It's gonna give me a bunch of errors. I'm gonna say whatever, go along with it. Now that your grab viewport's done, it's going to save into this previews folder but we don't want that so go back into tools grab viewport save preview animation as and then from there you can send it to whatever folder you want and say this we should call it grab viewport save it out and it'll move it there then you can go grab it thanks for watching Go create something.